Hello YouTube, um, it's Brooks from Brooks Builds. I want, I'm live here streaming and I want to do a really quick uh, sort of video on a new feature that's dropped in Rust, um, which uh, allows us to have static strings at runtime, which is a really cool idea. And it actually solves something that I ran into a long time ago that, uh, well, really sucked. So let's go ahead and um, and sort of dive into it. So to begin with, if I want to read up a file at runtime, we can use read to string. Well, let's go ahead and uh, let's create a file first. So here I have, let's see, let's, we'll keep this in source for here. So let's uh, touch, this will be maybe just um, like, I don't know, config.json. Let's do config.txt because I don't, I feel like being lazy and not even doing uh, JSON. Come over here and I want to let our config equals, we're gonna use read to string. There it goes, okay, so it found it. We tell it where to find it. Read to string grabs the file from uh, relative to the root of the project. So we want this to be config.txt. Okay, we don't need that there. And uh, we'll just, this is an example. We'll just go ahead and unwrap you. Okay, let's, uh, let's debug this, make sure we actually found it correctly. There's our config. And if we cargo run this, um, we have nothing in there. Well, that kind of makes sense. Let's uh, open up config and we'll just say, hello world. There we go. Okay, so we have our hello world in there now. Okay, so I have this as a full string though, which is um, what if I wanted to treat this? What if I needed this to be like a static string? Well, we can now convert this because string now has leak. This is very similar to box leak, where in a box leak, you get access to a mutable reference to the, well, underlying thing that we throw into a box. Like a string would then give us an, um, it would consume the box and give us a mutable reference to, well, the string. We can now run leak on a string itself. Let's see what that gives us. So we can say, uh, let's maybe like leak config equals config.leak. And if we do that, we now see that we have a mutable uh, reference to a stir. Well, this isn't really a static string, is it? But documentation says that we can basically just customize this lifetime however we want. Uh, specifically, we can make it a static. So we can now say, I want this to be a static, static, sir. And that's what it is now. Now we can treat it like a static stir, even though we loaded it in at runtime, uh, which let's uh, just debug this. There's our leaked config. Now, obviously, it's just sort of like making changes to this or changing that. We don't really want to do that. And I'm not really even going to try. Um, but if you ever felt the need that you well, if you ever needed a static stir at runtime, this is how we're gonna get it. And we'll cargo run you again. And we have, it's just this hello world. It is a static stir. And it's exactly what we sort of expect that to be. Uh, I just wanted to show this off because this uh, is pretty cool. This would have saved me a while back, um, a long, a well, long time ago. I, uh, I was making, um, I was doing some uh, Actix web. Uh, I think this was, back before 1.0 uh, with handlebars and I needed these include strings all over the place, which meant that these handlebars were included in compile time. This would have prevented that for me. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this is helpful or at least maybe a little bit interesting. If you want more of these, let me know and um, I'll look out for them and do more recordings during the stream. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time. Bye.